Hi, welcome in the ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss again a new basic SAP tutorial. How to delete a service entry sheet in SAP MM. What is the service entry sheet? Basically a service entry sheet is a MM document to verify the services which we have taken from external vendor for your company in your business area. Okay. So first step it you have to create the purchase order on the basis of the purchase order uh, service purchase order on the basis of the service purchase order you have to create the service entry sheet using transaction code ml81n so what you have to do so many times it's possible that uh, we have created the wrong service entry sheet or there is something mismatch in the invoice amount and your service entry sheet amount so during that cases we have to reverse the service entry sheet and change the amount of the service entry sheet then at that case during these such cases we have to reverse and delete the SES okay so what you have to do is first click on the open the SES in SAP MM using ML81N Click on the reverse arrow using proper login, approver login if SES is already approved. Okay. Reverse the R2 flag and reverse the R1 flag. What is the meaning of the R2? R2 is stand for the higher authority who is, has approved your SES. R1 is for initiator. Okay choose appropriate posting date and the period okay save and post then once you delete the SES then an accounting entry will be generated in the purchase order history and uh, that will be reverse the reversal of the MIGO document like the reversal of the MIGO document and you can create the new SES with the fresh amount and you can uh, verify that service entry sheet you in from your manager or you're from your competing authority and then that SES will be ready for invoice verification for the payment to the external vendor. This is the beauty of the procurement to pay process. So without the wasting of the time, we are going to initiate that how can we delete the service entry sheet okay so uh, during this process first you need to uh, execute the transaction code ml81 and okay so this is the transaction code very useful transaction code so then go in the other purchase order type your service entry sheet number okay and click on the enter so see this is the our service entry sheet and click on the change in the display mode click on the reversal of the arrow and first you have to choose on the r2 and once you choose on the r2 and again click on the reversal of the arrow now you can choose on the r1 and click enter now you need to do post or save okay here you need to choose the proper posting date depends on your period and mention your header text what is the reversal reason and all okay if you have invoice number then you can mention the invoice number okay so once you post a same reversal of the MIGO document, this, this document is the reversal of the MIGO documents, okay? And you can see this, this entry, okay? Now you can click on the change in display mode and click on this deletion indicator, then you have a deleted, uh, status of the service entry sheet is deleted and now again you save then you can go in the purchase order history this purchase order will reflect that the zero amount of the SES against this number okay now you can 
uh, execute the transaction code ME23N and here this is the purchase order okay so see uh, in this case uh, click on this purchase order okay so this is the purchase order history once you see this purchase order history see this service entry sheet amount is zero and uh, this is the debit entry this is the credit entry the reversal of the MIGO document is generated here and once you click on this document once you click on this document and, and followed by the accounting document see uh, in the document info and uh, see okay see what is the beauty of this document see ZRIR, uh, uh, GRIR ZL is credit with the same amount and external project clearing is David with the same amount okay so this is the way how you can check all these things while the reversal of the SES okay so this is the way how you can check okay once you click on this document and see here this is the ZRIR debit and external project clearing is credit this is the document when we have to when we are going to post the service entry sheet okay and previous document is reversal of the service entry sheet document okay so why we are going to explain about these document i'm just going to see effect of the reversal of the service entry sheet okay effect of the reversal of the service entry sheet so you can uh, observe that okay so this is the way how you can uh, reverse the service entry sheet okay reverse the service entry sheet okay and what is the effect of the reversal of the service entry sheet on the purchase orders okay so this is the daily routine basic tutorial this is a very basic tutorial I'm explaining you please share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues okay please share this tutorial with friends and colleagues who are frequently working in the SAP MM and if you think this is a really useful video press like button it will support us and uh, increase our mot motivation level to create more and more such videos tutorial for you and this is totally free we are sharing free of course uh, knowledge for the beginners who are working in this field okay and again if you have any query in your mind then please mention in the comment section we will reply as soon as possible and uh, also reach us at erpscp team one at the gmail.com okay thank you have a nice day see you in the next tutorial keep watching erpscp team for your basic knowledge of sap mm SAP PM, SAP FACO, SAP SD, SAP Plant Maintenance, SAP Basis, SAP HR, HCM, and Finance and Controlling. We are frequently creating the basic tutorials on these areas. Okay. Thank you.